Hey everybody, welcome to Brick Vault. My name is Jack and today we've got another LEGO Weekly News update. Starting with all of the information we have on the new upcoming sets. And first thing that happened was the LEGO Toy Fair and we got a list of a bunch of new sets that are going to be coming out in the summer and spring. And then the Nuremberg Toy Fair happened and we got a bunch of pictures of those sets. Thanks to Promo Bricks and Susan Bat for the pictures and the BrickFan.com and BrickSet.com for compiling the lists. Now there's just a ton of pictures and sets that are going to be released and frankly there are just too many to cover in this episode. So what we're going to do is focus on the ones that we pretty much just like the most and we're going to leave links for everything in the description below if you want to learn more. Architecture has a release of the United States Capitol building which looks really good and I cannot wait to build that one. And Bionicle basically has an entire new army. I think those are 12 new guys. And I'm really excited we got pictures of this. It is the Lego City Volcano series and they did indeed build a volcano. It looks a little bit small and kind of Minecrafty, but uh, these sets look pretty fun. There seems to be a geode mining operation. And of course I can't skip on the new Batman sets. There's a picture of two new ones here. I'm particularly excited about getting a Scarecrow. He is probably my favorite Batman villain, but this Bat Tank and Killer Croc's bear trap kind of vehicle are definitely high on my list too. Now Spider-Man has a couple of new sets and they look really good. There's a big one here which is a giant battle on a bridge. And we also have a classic rescue the tipping car situation. And this other set here features a ridiculous looking mech. But if you look closely you can see Spider-Man comes with his own custom surfboard. Moving on to Minecraft, we've got a bunch of really cool sets. I like the entrance to the Ender Portal. And it looks like in this one you can get some gold armor. Nexo Knights is coming in with quite a few large sets. We've got this big armored vehicle for the Knights here. It looks like a very old school kind of Lego build. And I really like this evil siege vehicle here. Looks like the perfect thing to be attacking the Nexo Fortress with. But my favorite new Nexo one is Jestro's Volcano Lair. It seems to be a castle built all around a volcano. And on the inside it looks more like a Sarlacc pit than anything else. And this could also be kind of fun to mix up with the Volcano City sets. And we've also got Ninjago going on strong with a lot of really cool new stuff. But I especially like this sort of fencing mech here and this awesome wheeled and treaded vehicle here. It's very reminiscent of Clay's Rumble Blade. You can split it apart just about the same way. But I definitely prefer the look of this one. It's a really cool combination to have those wheels and treads. But I think it is Technic that is really taking the cake. They have here a bucket wheel excavator. This has a lot of functions. It is gigantic and it looks really crazy. I am both looking forward to and slightly dreading building this one. For anyone that has built the base plate of a motor one or two pegs off and discovered that at the end, you know what I'm talking about. In other Lego set news, we have images and instructions for a new Christmas ornament. It seems to be a combination of an elf house, Christmas tree, and snow globe. It will probably become available in October or November during those promotions. But you can build it now, the instructions again are available. Now our last bit of news for new sets is about a Star Wars advent calendar for 2016. Now if you don't want to know what the exclusive minifigs are going to be for this set, then please skip ahead of this video because I am going to spoil the exclusive minifigs for you in about 3, 2, 1. Once again, this information is coming from Promotion Bricks, and the information in English can be found on the Brick Fan. This set will include 10 minifigures altogether, two of which I know for certain are going to be exclusive Christmas minifigs. One is a white Chewbacca, and the other is a Snowman Stormtrooper, or a Stormtrooper Snowman. Included as well is a Chrome C-3PO, and depending on the printed on detailing or the color of the Chrome, this could also be an exclusive minifig. And it is quite possible we can get pictures of these guys next month from the New York Toy Fair. But it's time to move on to our LEGO Ideas segment. And if you don't know what LEGO Ideas is, it is the website in which you can submit your LEGO creation and hopes to have it become an official LEGO set. Now, there were no sets this week that got 10,000 votes, so that means there are no new sets that are being up for review right now in LEGO. So instead, we're going to shamelessly promote our LEGO Ideas set. My brother designed a poseable mini at, -AT and it is set to scale with the LEGO designed mini at -SD and the mini Snowspeeder. We've made a build video for this and it has more information about the set and we will leave a link in the description below if you want to check it out on the Ideas website. In more LEGO news, Bricks Issue 9 magazine can now be ordered. It's got a lot of information, it talks about new sets, custom creations, and this very interesting article about creating minifigs. Nick Savage from minifigs.me talks all about the process of creating cool custom minifigs. So if you're interested in learning more about that, I would suggest reading this article. Now every day people are constantly creating cool custom Lego creations all around the world and we are going to look at some of our favorites from the week. 
first here is Ferrari Testarossa 512RT by Firas Abu Jaber. It is an incredible build. It's got great proportions and a very, very sleek, intelligent design. And that engine just looks awesome. Next here is Burning the Tar Pits by Jonas Wide. Now the build looks somewhat simple, but this is an incredible composition. Those trans orange pieces appear to be glowing, and he achieved this effect by using a black light and a long exposure. A very creative and skillful way to go about things. And here is Kyle, my um, dog, by Robert4168 Garmadon. This creature, though it has no specific reference from the artist, I believe is based on somewhat of an anglerfish, but I like its nearly all white composition, and it's a funny mixture of scary and goofy. Next is Morgan Three Wheeler by Jonas. A very small build, but not necessarily simple. The builder seems to have captured the style of this sleek little British buggy pretty well. And now I totally want to drive one of these things. Here is M2A3 Bradley by Andre Petrov. These two builds here are the slight variations of the same armored vehicle, and it looks really great. I like the use of the bullion pieces on the side as armor. And here is Jakku Nima Outpost by Wookie Warrior. And this desert setting here looks great. It's highly detailed, a lot of fun. There's just a ton of stuff to check out. This is Dracula Castle by Total Meja. It's a really great, eerie castle on the mountaintop setting, but my favorite part is the shingled roof. If you look closely, you will see that they are scuba diver flippers. And the last one here is another Star Wars build. It is Stephanie's T70 Model F. You don't see as many custom builds for LEGO Friends figs, but this design is actually quite good. And I like that we have a furry little critter in place of an astromech droid. So that's it for this episode. Tune in same time next week for another LEGO Weekly News update. If you want to get this news earlier, you can check us out on Facebook or Twitter. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and we'll see you next time on Brick Vault. Thank you.